had Terry Funk for a while. That was a lot of fun. Uh, was on the road a lot, but like I said, the you know the business been about a lot of things, mostly been about money, and money was good. But so I've always enjoyed being in the business. It's always been exciting for me, and uh, you know it beats working. Yeah, it's better than a normal job, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, teaming with Dick Slater, I guess after the Dustin feud, they just wanted to transition you into a tag team. Yeah, Slater Slater was looking for work, and uh, and they uh, they they wanted him to come in and 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 be a part of. They wanted Funk. Rick Flair was in there in the booking office there after a while. Some of those. Yeah. Mike and Tanya uh, uh, was eased out, and Ric Flair came in, and he started doing the book. And, and Rick really liked the idea of Terry Funk and Bunkhouse Buck. It just kind of went together. And uh, so we, we worked it for a while. And then uh, I think Terry had some heat with the office there for some reason. I don't know what, but he didn't stay very long, and then Slater stepped in. Do you have any stories about Terry Funk you could share with us? I know you knew him other than just WCW. You knew him from the territories as well. Yeah, he was uh, – him and Dory was in Japan with us in 71. I was 21 years old. I'd been in the business uh, right at two years. I know I'd heard a lot of stories about Japan, so I asked Nick Goulas to get, get me and Sam Bass in Japan, next thing I knew was on a plane headed for L.A. Worked a week out there and went on over to Japan. Funk Terry was with us. Uh, he pulled a good one over there when we stopped. We went, flew to Sapporo, Japan from Tokyo. And we got there to claim our bags at the baggage claim. He went outside where they were loading the bags. And he talked those boys into letting him get on the conveyor belt that came around. All the bags started come rolling through, and here comes Funk with the bags. He laying down with his cowboy hat on his head. He's a character, Terry Funk, man. He he was always pulling something. Terry Funk. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.